Hi, this is Rose Tinted Monocle and this is part of the APM Natural Remedies Free Food series that we're um, currently doing um, and today I'm going to tell you how to make something very simple uh, dandelion vinegar which can be used on salads uh, and part of dressings or uh, anything that you usually put vinegar on, your chips even maybe if you want to. And this helps with um, painful uh, digestive systems for various reasons, acid reflux, because dantamine does have some, um, one of its benefits is the digestive system. So that's why um, dandelion tea is very um, beneficial and because uh, it also gives you a slight um, pain relieving but the topically then um, sorry a topically um, then you can use it as a carrier oil for massages for uh, muscle relief um, possibly arthritis as well if you add turmeric. So um, it's very very simple. You pick your dandelions and you wash them. Ta -da! Then you un use a jar with a lid that has a acid resistant seal. I'm reusing a gherkin jar. Then um, I sterilise that using the boiling hot water method, which is boil hot water, stick it in, put the lid on, wait 10 minutes, done. And then the other ingredient is apple cider vinegar with the mother. Um, this one I picked up by accident, so what I did is I made it into the more beneficial one by adding the mother to it from an old bottle and then let it stand so then I can use it for things like this and that's ready now and then this one's in case I need to top it up. I'm not any particular brand it's just what I have in the cupboard at the moment. So you simply just, oh this is going to be difficult, put loosely in It's one of those 10 minute crafts and wait. Um, I'm going to leave the stalks because all the sap here is where a lot of the um, pain relieving elements is. And if you ever get stung with a stinging nettle and there's a dandelion and no burdock around to rub the leaves on, put this white bit on the stingy bit and that will calm it down. This is just what I had in the garden this morning, so you don't need to pack them down. Just nice and nicely. A few more heads. And done. Okay. Press those down a little bit. 
need to literally put that in a cool dark place for uh, four to six weeks bare minimum the longer the better and then you sieve out all the flowers put the vinegar in another sterilized bottle and then it's done so thanks for watching hi it's Rosie um, this morning I had a back chat uh, with Jack Dreaming just purely talking about real stuff and stuff as well as hey good morning how does the sky look for you today and um, she is a lady I looked up to and even that she didn't realise that you can propagate tomatoes from a tomato so uh, with the APM medicinal series and grow your own series and tips for just survival make it do and mend um, kind of scenario I thought um, this is a perfect time to teach a little when it comes to propagating food um, and not all food is actually mouldy and dead and we throw it away in fact mouldy sometimes is medicinal so um, I just wanted to show you the three the three tomatoes I have left in my fridge we have this one which could and oh that's just soil on there unless you opened it up you wouldn't know was probably far gone then you have this one here that you can actually see some little surface mold so you wouldn't want to eat that you wouldn't want to have that in your um in your fridge or where else you're um storing your vegetables on fruits this would be a, oh my god we're going to throw this away now now I'm going to tell you guys you've been throwing away an abundance of tomatoes every time you do this I have never bought tomato seeds to grow tomatoes and I've always had tomatoes every year so if you look over here this tomato is the most squishy and mouldy tomato this one is gone other veg had sat on it this is why it's got it here and I've cut it into three yep if you look on the inside there is absolutely nothing wrong with that this is an organic tomato so as you can see because it's an organic tomato that it has less white in the surrounding layers this isn't always true when it comes to GMO and the difference between non fiddled with food um, there is some varieties of tomato that have very pale flesh but then their skin is also pale uh, this is where they get us all the time guys so uh, you can tell this is a real organic tomato because this is still red it's not white it doesn't taste like uh, an iceberg lettuce instead of a tomato. The only white part should be the actual attachment from the um, the reproductive parts, which is where the seeds are, because that's what we're talking about. And the important part, which is the way... Um, the creator gives everything how to grow it in its own correct medium so this is then the center part 
which obviously you have an abundance of seeds but no actual part of the tomato and then my favourite part, the end, which I always, always have a good amount of baby seeds from and I scoop up as many of the middle seeds as I can in both and I just plant the ends. Also, <clears throat> I am keeping in mind the moon, so otherwise I wouldn't be planting these. But this is a simple, so this is the mouldy bit, and this is the experiment. We're going to see how they grow. And then this is the other end where there's nothing wrong, and I've just literally scooped up. But it is the tomato as well. So, just like an egg and anything else in nature, everything is given to you in order to do the next step unless you specifically need an additional element and we sometimes call them vitamins and minerals in order to be able to produce or create the next part in order to do the things that are beneficial to us so here i just have um just some normal compost two little bits because i'm just doing the ends i'm literally just moving the center out to the sides to about a good maybe I don't do centimeters I only grow up in a uh, centimeter meter society don't understand it still feet and inches all day long and the same with the other one sit down as far as I can Ooh. put the soil over the top now I've had snow today so these are definitely going on the windowsill by the distiller you don't need to put any clean film plastic bags or anything over that all you need to do is make sure that it's covered and pressed firm now these two small ends are going to give me more tomato plants than i can shake a stick at i'll be thinning out these two bowls for weeks the only reason why i have a lot of tomato plants is i deliberately organic uh, purchase farm purchase whatever um, tomatoes from elsewhere and then i propagate them i also save my seeds which will be a whole different thing um, this is just literally about how simple where a mouldy tomato that we were going to throw away and look at how many seeds, do you know how many plants that could be? And each plant then replicates itself because it's only a hologram. Do you understand? And this, I'm going to have so many tomato plants of an organic tomato and I didn't pay a penny and these would have been thrown away thanks for watching hi this is Rose Tinted Monocle and this is part of the APM medicinal series and this is um, tips um, Going shopping today, I have noticed that yes, the shops are filling up with more than our normal that we've had over the last couple of weeks, but the quality is very, very low. Um, these, I've got lemons here. These are lovely ones from Valencia in Spain, but there is a little bit of wax. They're not unwaxed. Luckily, because they're Spanish, they are very thin. I don't know if you can see but if 
you're going to use these where you need to use the skin as well as the inside, there's a really quick way of uh, de-waxing these. I will be using these later on in my next uh, medicinal remedies video of preserved lemons. So this is the reason why I'm doing this now. So it's nice and simple. You think? Right, here we go. So white distilled vinegar. Move that little mix around. Just have to boil water. And this is distilled water as well, so that will definitely remove any rubbish off the top of the lemons. And literally a brand new scrub. <laughs> I can't do this with two hands. Okay, get the lemon, you scrub with the scrubber, and then you put in cold water. And then they're all clean. Thanks. Hi, this is Rosie, and this is the second medicinal uh, video about preserved lemons. This is another really ridiculously simple thing to do. A lot of people may already do this already or buy this already. Um, this is about gut health, guys. This is just purely and simply about gut health. I've got varying stages of preserved lemons that I have done because this is a something you need to do as soon as possible because it takes a long time but it's so worth it so as you can see this is my first batch here and it's gone really dark brown this here means that all the goodness of everything has emulsified together but you all can also can see my rookie mistake of using too large salt crystals so not everything has soaked in but that only means that I can then use half of this to start another one so like a mother But, and then I tried it a little uh, uh, later on, again still using bigger crystals, but for some reason this one has um, preserved more evenly. Again this one, really good amount of, and then all the salt has just gone to the bottom. Still, This one is the, I obviously learnt by my mistake, used finer ones. This is the youngest, so this isn't ready for use for ages yet. But as you can see, all of that will then should go to this dark cut. This is what you want. And this is sometimes, I think, the missing ingredient in a lot of Moroccan and Indian and African and Mediterranean dishes. A lot of people just use it and we, we just don't. It's something that is missed out of our diet. So, how easy is this? So, you've got some lemons. Hopefully, if you're lucky enough, you can pick some if you have some. Buy them if you need to. Organic, always, 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 if you possibly can. If not like these, you just de-wax them and you just look at the country of origin. These are from Valencia in Spain. So hopefully they're going to be quite good quality and they're just a little farm somewhere. And that's why they've had to adhere to the spraying of the wax. I've removed the wax, I've cut it up, 
I've got this wonderful little jar here that had apple sauce in. And this is how simple it is. Oh, sorry, you need three ingredients. Lemon, salt, and I'm using Himalayan pink salt. Fine, do not make my mistake. Lemon juice. Now originally, I got this from Michelle X. She has an amazing amount of different things like this on her channel. I learned loads, cemented a lot of information that I already had, which I think sometimes is equally as important as learning something new. So you literally pack as many bits of lemon as you possibly can down salt not big bits like I did before much more ooh, much more conservative so the digest so the benefits of lemon is varied, there's loads. So it's antibacterial, you can use it to clean with. So in these times, with the antiviral stuff going on, you basically need lemon, bicarbonate of soda and white vinegar to clean everything if this virus existed. That's what you need to do to clean everything. I love little jars. They're brilliant. Oh, big batches is really good. Making one big batch of everything is always fantastic, but I'm always trying to uh, use up little things, the ends of stuff. Shake and tap. Shake and tap, fill it up, and I sterilise the jar with the hot water method just like yesterday, and boom. Now literally you just have to put that in a cool dark place for ages, and then you can literally use it any time from four to six weeks just like in any preserves. But the longer you keep it, the more it is this dark colour, the better. Because that's when all the alchemy happens and all the benefits intermingle and becomes medicine instead of a cooking ingredient. This is a cooking ingredient, this is medicine, you use it in the same way. Thanks for watching. Hi, this is Rosie. This is tip two. Dry your own herbs. I've got the oven on and I have a top grill. So I've just put some thyme, some sage, and some rosemary to dry up here at the top. These mean these fresh cuttings last a lot longer. You don't need expensive humidifier guys. Move down to there. Because the oven's on for the Sunday rice.